Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on PLC tutorial series. In this video, we will demonstrate you how we can use different sorts of sensors for counting objects in the process line and accordingly take decisions in the process industry using this object counting. So let's get started. Well, uh, we will first start with factory IO. In the factory IO scene, we will first create our object counting setup. After that, according to the setup, we will create the logic using the ladder diagram in Logos of Comfort software. From here, on the right hand side, you have palette windows. From here, bring in a conveyor belt. Let's say a 4 meter belt conveyor. So in factory IO, we have two sort of conveyor. One is roller conveyor and the another type is belt conveyor. We have also uh, ramp like conveyor. These are called shoot conveyor. So in this belt conveyor, we'll install the emitter and remover first. This emitter will uh, continuously create object on our belt. And on the other side, suppose we want to bring in a remover. So whatever object will come here, it will get removed or destroyed. Okay. Now for counting the object, we will need some sort of sensors. If you go to this menu here, you will find tab named sensor. So these sensors are available for using in factory IO. Like we have capacitive sensor, we have diffuse sensor, we have inductive sensor. These capacitive sensors are used for detecting different types of objects. And these inductive sensors are especially used for uh, detecting metallic object. Then we have diffuse sensor which acts, acts on light deflecting operation. So this could be used for any type of object. We have uh, light emitting array, light emitting receiver. We have retro reflective sensor this which is also a light dependent sensor. We have reflector and we have vision sensor. In upcoming video, I will also cover this vision sensor which can be used for detecting different types of colors in the process industry. For now, we will use simple box on the conveyor belt and we need to detect the object and count accordingly. For that reason, I will bring in a diffuse sensor here. So let's bring in on the scene. Now in our scene, we have bring in already the conveyor, the emitter and the remover and also the sensor which is diffuse sensor we need to place the diffuse sensor in right height so that it can detect the object properly let's bring it down by pressing v okay now the box must cross this sensor if it is moving on the conveyor let's check it out place the play the simulation and check it whenever a box Process the sensor gets detected using the sensor. You can also check it from here. It is getting detected. So normally this diffuse sensor is giving zero output whenever the object comes it, it gives one. So we can use this feature of diffuse sensor to program our ladder diagram. So before going there. Let's go to file. From here, go to driver. On the driver PLC component, PLC list, choose whatever PLC you have at your hand. I'm choosing this CMS logo. Now, on the left hand side, we have the inputs, and on the right hand side, we have the actuators or the outputs. We have only one input here that is a diffuse sensor. Let's bring it. To the v0.0 which will be our network input and we have belt conveyor emitter and remover as for now we do not uh, need any start on stop switch for this demonstration we'll just bring in the conveyor belt for input we have connected the diffuse sensor at the first v0.0 and for output let's say we will count up to five object when five object is 
counting down then we'll stop the build and for that reason our build will be our output let's say it's at q1 so we have connected the diffuse sensor at the input and build conveyor at the output let's go go now let's go to loss of comfort software for designing our ladder diagram for this special operation in the loss of comfort software we have a special block for counting object this block is under the counter tab here we have up down counter let's bring it in the screen so this up down counter can take three input here the first one is R which is for reset the second one is count and the third one is for duration that means it can count upward or downward and for counting the object will connect a sensor to this pin first Let's bring in a make contact. This make contact is basically our diffuse sensor which is connected in the network. So that's why it will be our network input. So let's connect it first. We will configure it just now. So from here we need to bring in the network input. So this network input is basically for our diffuse sensor. So let's change it back. Ni1. And also we need to make it momentary push button. You can also give it a name. Now we have connected the diffuse sensor as an input to the up down counter. We also need to configure this up down counter. So it can turn on at a certain value and it can turn off at a certain value. So let's say uh, we will start the conveyor at zero count and whenever we reach the count of five object or it will stop the conveyor belt. So for that reason, we'll be put zero at the on value and we'll, on the stop value, that is the off value, we'll bring five. So let's see, hit OK. We'll need a contact for this counter. Bring in a make contact here. This make contact would be for C00 up down counter. And we'll need a output coil. That is the, our belt conveyor Q1. Suppose you also want to see the counted object at our logo display. For that reason, we'll bring in a special block which is called masses text. To work with masses text, we must include a memory flag with its contact. So for that reason, we'll bring in a make contact of this SF002, SF002, and it will, it will be connected with a memory flag okay. let's configure the message text for our program once you open this window you can write your text here let's say we want to see the counter how much object it has counted and if you want to show the counted object value we'll need to go down this block from here you need to click on this C001 counter it will bring you on the parameters associated with this counter on the right hand side from here you can choose this counter and insert parameter you can also add additional messages like the current time and date in the screen let's bring in the current time and the current date let's bring it down so that's all for loss of comfort software design. Now let's upload this program at our logo PLC. We'll go to network project first. From here we'll add new device. We'll choose the IP address for our loss of comfort device. It's not fixed value. It, it can be different for your PLC. Now go down to tool, transfer, PC to logo. So once this windows comes up, you need to choose your right driver, which on the real tech PCIe GB family controller. Then if your IP address is OK here, you can go for OK button and it will upload your program to your PLC. So our program has been successfully uploaded. Let's go back to factory IO and check if your logo PLC is connected here or not. You can see it is giving us such green tick that means our PLC logo is connected with our device. 
now we will do the simulation here we will release this conveyor belt to its normal mode now we have come to our factory IO setup and we have also connected our logo PLC with this factory IO let's do the simulation here once the object is passed through this conveyor belt it will count this object you can also check it here by looking at the logos of control by looking at the logo display and once the five object has been counted it will turn off the output automatically so that's how we can use our logos of comfort software with factory io to build up counter based object programming for our plc and we can use this feature for any of the process industry application where counter or object detection is required we have with us an inductive sensor this inductive proximity sensor it has three wire and this three wire has three color wire one is black brown and blue and at the indicative level of this proximity sensor it is mentioned that brown wire it will take 10 to 30 volt dc vcc voltage the blue wire it will take the ground and the black wire it will give us a signal output whenever a metallic product comes across this uh, sensor it will give a uh, output and that output will get from this black wire so we can demonstrate this uh, inductive proximity sensor with our previous program with hardware setup of plc logo so let's demonstrate that and observe how we can use proximity inductive sensor with our hardware we will connect the black wire to our PLC I1 input. We'll connect the blue wire with our ground of DC voltage on brown wire to the positive 24 volt DC supply. Once we power this up, we'll see our PLC has started, but yet we need to configure the program again because in the PLC program, we have connected the input as network input, but in this setup, the input is not from network, but uh, in the physical pin of PLC. So that's why we need to reconfigure that. In our previous program, we connected our diffuse sensor with network input P0.0. So as we are now demonstrating the hardware setup, we will delete this block first. So we'll bring in another make contact and this make contact we have connected the sensor with our i1 pin that's why this make contact will be for i1 and we are using an inductive sensor let's connect this sensor to count pin of our up down counter and for now the output we are using here it's not a conveyor belt but for simple demonstration we have connected an indicated lamp that is green light we have connected as our output whenever this inductive sensor has detected five metal object it will turn this green light off so let's upload this program and see how our inductive sensor works We have uploaded our program at the PLC. Now let's check it out if it could detect metallic object and count it or not. So this is a screwdriver with metal object. I will check it if it detects or not. So let's bring it. Okay, I have brought it one time and in the display you can see that it has counted one. Let's bring it four more times. Two, three, four, five. Once it has this five times, the indicator lamp has turned off. So from this demonstration, we can see that our inductive sensor can be used for counting objects using the same program we have developed earlier. In the similar manner, 
we can use a capacity proximator sensor like this it has also three wire at the output terminal and these three wires have similar color like blue black and brown it is mentioned here that the brown wire it can take 10 to 40 volt dc the black wire is the signal output wire and the blue wire is the ground wire so as we have worked with inductive sensor in a similar manner we can use this sort of capacitive sensor to count object which could be any object we can use different sensors for counting objects like inductive sensor capacitive sensor optical sensor like retrieve reflective sensor or diffusion sensor all the sensor works fine and depending on the nature of the object we'll need to choose different types of sensor what type of sensor is best for our setup we will have to choose choose that out based on our application so that's all for this video i will see you in the next video if you want to get more videos like this electrical technologies like plc or microcontroller and other research related to electrical technology you can follow our page at facebook iskirani academy or you can also subscribe to our youtube channel that is iskirani academy and get more videos like this so thank you for your patient watching see you in the next video Ta -ta.